Hi everyone, this is a video about FreeBSD, which is a very old operating system. So I will try FreeBSD on real hardware and I highlight real hardware because you can use it also in virtual machines like KVM, but it's complicated because uh, the, the driver for KVM and the graphical driver isn't very good. So this is uh, Unreal Hardware Xiaomi computer and this is uh, Hyperland. So FreeBSD can also be a desktop operating system if you are lucky about uh, your hardware because uh, it is improved but uh, sometimes uh, if you don't have uh, the exact uh, hardware you <laughs> can have issues this is uh, HTOP and uh, as you can see it's uh, about uh, a gigabyte with uh, Hyperland and uh, it just had 29 uh, tasks so it's uh, very light but it also means that uh, some uh, demons that uh, you have uh, on Linux uh, aren't available by default on uh, FreeBSD and this is uh, fast fetch so this is my computer FreeBSD 15 with Hyperland and uh, Lee for login manager these are some uh, commands that you can use in FreeBSD to debug the situation so KLD stat to see the driver loaded and uh, I had a lot of issues with uh, Wi-Fi so I had to use uh, another computer <laughs> because uh, the Wi-Fi uh, didn't work uh, in this computer that you are seeing in uh, the video and um, yeah if you are lucky it is uh, fast like uh, in Linux and uh, you can also run uh, uh, Chromium but uh, I don't know why it is renamed as Chrome but uh, in this computer I, I, I wasn't able to, to run uh, with uh, Wi-Fi so uh, I can't test uh, Chromium uh, with the uh, real um, websites uh, the uh, two finger scroll didn't work but uh, yeah it, it loaded in uh, Wayland and uh, it is uh, supported N not everything not uh, Vulkan for instance but it works so if, if you have uh, an Ethernet card supported you can use it uh, via Ethernet instead of uh, Wi-Fi and this is uh, the error uh, with the IWM driver uh, I, I tried to unload and reload and uh, it was better but uh, it didn't uh, recognize uh, my Wi-Fi so uh, I was uh, unlucky with uh, this computer with um, the Intel uh, 8260 card and uh, this is uh, the setup that uh, I used so it's a computer uh, connected to a hub with um, energy and uh, an external uh, drive and uh, I installed the operating system in the external drive so I can, I can swap easily this installation from a computer to another one so even if I didn't have a working uh, Wi-Fi I moved the hard drive to another one with uh, an Ethernet card uh, which was supported by FreeBSD to uh, update the operating system so here uh, some issues I had with FreeBSD I, I wanted to try 
uh, this operating system because uh, lately I, I've seen uh, a lot of video on YouTube about uh, this uh, operating system and uh, I always tried uh, FreeBSD with uh, virtual machines but uh, it wasn't fully supported so I wanted to try on uh, real hardware and um, yeah this video is about how to configure system D, um, Hyperland on FreeBSD if you have supported hardware and uh, I've also seen that uh, Intel drivers should be supported uh, but uh, it's uh, a new thing and maybe not all models of the Wi-Fi card from Intel are supported and uh, I've also seen that FreeBSD is doing marketing on, uh, on YouTube so I, I wanted to try also on my hardware if, uh, to, to real touch FreeBSD to see if uh, it is well supported uh, and uh, how good it was uh, supported so this is uh, uh, some uh, issues I had. I had uh, a lot of uh, core dumps with uh, Hyperland and uh, Wayland, which is uh, uh, supported uh, on FreeBSD, but uh, it isn't uh, as stable as uh, in Linux. And uh, these are other issues that I had. So I created uh, a user, but uh, this user didn't have the right permission on the uh, on its folder so i had to change the the permission from uh, root to the name of the user um, i had to use a dh client and uh, re0 which is the first ethernet card uh, of another computer uh, as you can see to uh, install uh, the um, uh, right uh, uh, drivers and uh, sometimes uh, uh, my uh, router banned <laughs> this computer so uh, I had to try again to, to have enable DHCP to have the uh, local EP and um, yeah, uh, this is a uh, uh, WPA uh, supplicant, which I configured, but uh, it didn't work uh, fully. So I, I could scan the Wi-Fi networks, uh, but uh, it didn't connect uh, to, to my network for some reasons. And... Uh, yeah, this uh, is uh, a command that uh, I never had to run on Linux uh, to enable the uh, WLAN 0, but I had to do it uh, to enable um, this interface on FreeBSD. Uh, okay, and this was the error, which uh, isn't very uh, familiar to, to the bug. Um, and uh, this uh, I I is the issue the, with the uh, uh, IWM drivers that I had to unload and load it again to, to try at least to, to connect to uh, the Wi-Fi. Uh, it was uh, very weird because the BSD installer uh, uh, was able to, to detect uh, the Wi-Fi interface that I created but uh, it uh, didn't want to use it because it didn't want to change the local system and uh, in this screenshot the local system was the live uh, CD, the live installation and uh, yeah, this was uh, VLAN zero, but uh, it wasn't able to connect to my router. And uh, these are some attempts to to load again this connection. Uh, another interesting thing is that uh, you have um, 
SSHD enabled by default so you can, could also install FreeBSD and uh, change it from another computer with SS, uh, SSH and uh, this is a kernel panic in uh, FreeBSD because I uh, changed uh, uh, slash boot slash loader.conf and uh, it broke uh, very bad and these are uh, some attempts to debug the uh, VGA so the Skylake uh, Intel graphic driver and uh, yeah this was the other computer uh, which uh, <laughs> This computer had uh, a working Ethernet uh, card for FreeBSD, but uh, it uh, didn't have a good VGA card. And uh, the other one, the Xiaomi, uh, had uh, a, a good VGA card, but not uh, a, a good uh, Wi-Fi card. So it was uh, uh, terrible to debug uh, these uh, things but uh, I was prepared so I uh, chose to install the main operating system on an external drive so it was uh, easy to swap to another computer and boot from uh, there and uh, yeah some more errors with permission with FreeBSD so conclusion uh, it was uh, very painful to <laughs> try FreeBSD on uh, real hardware I found uh, many issues uh, that wa were hard to, to debug and um, also the installer was able <laughs> to find some hardware but uh, wasn't able to, to run it uh, correctly this is uh, the official installer so this was my review of uh, FreeBSD 15 I'm happy that there are alternatives uh, to, to Linux uh, open source but uh, honestly I think that uh, FreeBSD is still <laughs> immature in 2025 that's it, see you in another video, bye